HobbsZine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got first of me. I always eyed these up when I were in America. It's a bottle of beer from Cascade Brewing in um, Portland, Oregon. This is a bottle of their Cascade Strawberry. It, it, they call it a Northwest style sour, uh, ale aged in oak barrels with strawberries and vanilla beans. And it is 7.56, very pre precise measurements. ABV. Looking forward to trying this. They add fruit to the barrels just to. Whoa! Oh, oh, it's a little bit so lively. So it's a bit of a gush, yeah? A little bit lively. Little that's bit what, lively. That's what he said. Uh, a little bit lively. I think I, caught, I, think I coped with that quite that well. That looks beautiful that's coming out of the top of the bottle like that, that's isn't it? I mean. It's like a Friday night in a pole club. <laughs> Let's, let's pour some of this whilst we're... Well, yeah, uh, some people do add... Uh, I think Atom Beers, you mentioned they have added um, fruit to some of their barrels. It smells great. Yeah, it does, <laughs> you're right. It smells awesome. It smells like... I mean, do you think this is a growing like thing? Because uh, sometimes uh, when you put something in barrels, it soaks up so much sweetness. Uh, well, uh, well, fruit, I guess, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Br really fruit, I mean, there's always that kind of like um, situation where, and this has travelled a long way, there might be that kind of like spot you know, on its journey that yeah. sat in some kind I of like... My um, first um, ever Cascade brewery beer. Yeah, it might have mm. sat somewhere for a, a bit too long, mm -hmm. a slightly Have you managed to have any Cascade beers before? This is the first time I've ever had what? one. What? Yeah. First for all and, and brought yeah. some. I've known I've had one before. Uh, oh, new he, is, as well. he is the hottest um, beer. Rob also has a raspberry version of this, but we chose a strawberry today, so that looks like F a fair bit of sediment in mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, we've had strawberry infused beers before, all of us, in different uh, formats, but yeah, you do pick up elements of the strawberry colour, and if you do ground it, I mean, when we reviewed uh, one bird, strawberry beer, they, they do bird, add, some set, yeah, yeah, add yeah, it for yeah, body yeah, in some yeah, beers, yeah. strawberry, and it it has that wheat balance on the mm. back end for strawberry yeah. beers. Maybe that's the haziness, you know, the wheat, the wheat that's added. You so yeah. Might, yeah. Well, obviously we can smell it. Yeah. From a mile. Whoa. For me, it smells. <laughs> from a distance, though, it smells like you smell like strawberry chapstick. Well, for, I, for <laughs> from, from the kind of the amount that I spilled at the table, for me, it smelled like kind of strawberry flavored, um, like seaside rock. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> But now, well, oh, fruit is really kind of tart, isn't it? It's really mm. acidic. I mean, we, we don't get that many variations of That's strawberry infused craft beers. We get well, they choose a lot of the time raspberries because they're they're as cheap of almost fruit to have. Uh, strawberries. Strawberries, are, strawberries, are funny one, yeah. strawberries are often quite a synthetic. And it, 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 it's, it's, water, it smells great. It's a lot of water in the fruit because it soaks up. Most like mushrooms, it soaks up with so much water. Yeah. I mean, um, you, you have to pick the right kind of strawberries to pick out for the flavours. It's, 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 it's a bit kind of barnyard, it's a little yeah. bit kind of funky, yeah. a little bit kind of like ratty around the edges, it but reminds, it's a little bit fruity. I know forever. people are going to disagree with me here, but, but it reminds me a little bit of the aroma of Rosé no de Cambrinos. Maybe a little bit, just yeah. Just a touch, just a touch. Well, I mean, I've, I've got a good amount of sediment knocking around. Yeah, I think, I think, I think <laughs> this is going to sit for a while so. before yeah, it, yeah. the rest of it gets, gets poured yeah. over my yeah. yeah. Should we get into it? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Cheers. It's a little bit lively, but whatever. Mmm. Oh, like. yeah. See, that's got a real kind of like sharp lactic kind of like. That just like so much saliva coming out of my mouth, I can mm. control it. <laughs> It's weird when you drink it and you get that dryness. Really dry. Really dry. If, if you look at it shortly well, after, you get the saltiness in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do, you're right. Salt and lemon juice, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I mean, uh, in mm -hmm. some of the I, I like that. beer cocktails, mm -hmm. you, yeah. you have salt cover in the glass like a margarita. There's a little it's bit of kind of like um, a cider vinegar going on there as well. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's definitely apple cider vinegar rather than balsamic. Yes. Is it like a like a a, a brune or a, or yeah, a yeah. sour brown or anything like that? I mean, Cascade, um, don't Cascade specialise in this kind of yeah, beers? They, 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 I don't know. I have not. Yeah, no, much about them. They just make sour. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, There's quite a lot of snobbery regarding um, um, the um, Cascade beers. There's like a lot of a lot of kind of slightly yeah. snobbish. Online groups kind of say this stuff's a bit like a like salad dressing or something. Yeah. But I think I think it's lovely. I mean, it is very lacto heavy. I mean, yeah. it's got you get that sharp kind of like um, where do natural they, yogurt kind of like. Where do they yeah, yeah, the they from? Because yeah. these are not cold cascade. Um, well, it's the mountains, isn't it? The cascade. Oh, okay. Mountains, wow. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's basically the way everything flows. It's basically a cascade. Of I presume that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing it's like you say with mountains. They've come off that name. 
It's pretty cool that they yeah. use the local name. I think this is probably the best. Do you know what that is? Strawberry beer I've ever had. Because damn, strawberry beer is like good fruity and shit like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But it, it's a really nice, sharp, um, citric um, sour beer. But it's balanced very well with the vanilla sweetness, mm. don't you think? It's I'm like, not about the vanilla at all. No, but the, the thing is, it, it makes an appearance for me because it almost yeah. balances it out and doesn't make it too dry on the yeah. back end so that you're not wanting to go back to it every two seconds. Mm -hmm. it, it's a very... It, I know this sounds very strange to a lot of people who, who drink a lot of sour beers, but it's a very well balanced mm. fruity sour yeah. ale. If you can get such a thing, yeah. I think this is a good example of yeah. that. Um, I think the strawberries, the vanilla, and also the the goos are like sour quality. Kind of blends very well together. Yeah. I think they've got that quite accurate, and I'm quite impressed. And I'd love to try some more stuff by Cascade. Well, it turns that. out I've got a raspberry one downstairs. Well, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Another time. Yeah. So that is a bottle of Cascade Brewing's um, Cascade Sour. Seven point. What did I say? Hey, you, you don't get a drop seven, seven point one. five six no. AVV. No. Uh, Kind of, call it it's almost nice to try a brand new brewery. Oh, yeah. Sour yeah. style ale with vanilla beans and strawberries. Lovely yeah. stuff. See you in a bit. See you yeah. next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>